apartment last night. You could see chalk drawings on the sidewalk. Someone had written in chalk on the sidewalk, pigs kill yourself. Have the protests turned more ugly even though officials are resigning, at least six of them so far? Well, first of all, I would like to send my heartfelt prayers to the police officers and their families and every single mother who has lost her black son because of police brutality. I would have to tell you that when people act in an irresponsible way, creating violence in bad situations, it is not good for anyone. And I listened to the chief earlier today, Chief Bellmer, and one of the things that he was talking about is an ambush. And this is the same feeling, the same language that many of my constituents have felt for a very long time, under attack, being harassed consistently for years on end, not having any hope whatsoever. So if someone is drawing something on the ground, that is a nonviolent way to express oneself. But I do not condone anyone who is- Some people would think that is a threat. Well, here's what I would have to say. The threat is when someone is shooting a police officer, which is terrible. We don't want any more lives to be taken. Absolutely not. What we have to deal with is the anger and the hurt that is still existing on both sides. We want to protect people who are peacefully protesting, as well as protect officers who are abiding by the law. And so we're going to have to sit down and have this conversation. And anyone who is acting violently, they are going to have to come to terms that no one is going to accept them, not even the peaceful protesters. Senator, I will say this, and the chief alluded to this, that it's very difficult to determine who's a peaceful protester and who's not. It's impossible. So is it time to step back and don't protest for just a week or two and then sit down and talk about it instead? Wouldn't it be safer that way? Well, here's the other thing. It's also very hard to determine who is a legitimate police officer as well. And yes, we do need to take time to figure out a strategy so we can clear our minds and figure out a peaceful plan so that we can move ahead and not have these violent acts. Yes, it is a wonderful thing to have the resignations of the chief as well as others, but that simply is not going to do. We have called for the disbandment of the police department in Ferguson. We still have injuries that are existing. Three weeks ago, police officers in Ferguson were still attacking people, including Heather, who is in a wheelchair, who was struck by a police officer. She was in a wheelchair doing nothing. And police officers attacked her, arrested her, and she ended up in a hospital. So let's be fair here. Yes, we are concerned about police officers who are being attacked, but I'm also concerned about the African Americans who are attacked every single day and have bullets through their heads by police officers. Commissioner, would you like to respond? You know what, you know, the Senator makes this point, she keeps making this point about African Americans. I was just curious to know that whether she knows in the past six days, four black law enforcement officers were killed in this country, three of which, the only three police officers to be shot and killed in this country this year are all black, including a U.S. Marshal. I don't see people, you know, out there, you know, going crazy about, you know, these people, you know, the people that murdered these cops. These are black lives. Every life matters. Every life matters. And it's just, I don't know, it's upsetting. Senator, I think that people 